the smartphone industry is moving at an incredible pace as 2026 approaches and Samsung appears ready to make a strong statement with the Galaxy S26 Ultra. What initially seemed like a routine yearly upgrade has now evolved into one of the most ambitious flagship launches Samsung has planned in recent years. Based on regulatory filings and supply chain leaks from December 2025, the S26 Ultra is shaping up to deliver major improvements in performance, design charging, cameras, and artificial intelligence. Samsung is expected to unveil the Galaxy S26 series at a Galaxy Unpacked event around February 25, 2026, even before its official launch. The S26 Ultra is already sending a clear signal this is a no-compromise flagship aimed at users who want the very best Samsung has to offer, without obvious trade-offs. One of the most important changes lies at the heart of the device, the processor. Samsung recently introduced its Exynos 2600, the world's first Samsung smartphone chip, marking a major technological milestone. However, multiple leaks suggest that Samsung will take a different approach for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Instead of using Exynos in some regions, the Ultra model is expected to ship globally with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. This would be a notable shift from Samsung's usual strategy of splitting chipsets by region. According to reliable insiders, the Exynos 2600 will likely be reserved for the standard Galaxy S26 and S26 fuss in select markets. The Ultra, meanwhile, is expected to rely entirely on Snapdragon. The reasoning appears practical. While Exynos 2600 promises strong performance gains, it reportedly relies on an external modem, which could impact power efficiency. For a premium device like the Ultra, Samsung seems to be prioritizing consistency, efficiency, and proven performance. Design is another area where Samsung is finally making changes long requested by users. For years, the Ultra lineup has featured sharp, boxy corners inspired by the Galaxy Note series. Leaked renders now suggest that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will move to rounded corners. The phone will still look bold and professional, but it should feel noticeably more comfortable during extended use. The S26 Ultra is also expected to be slimmer, measuring around 7.9 mm and lighter than its predecessor. Samsung is rumored to use a grade 5 titanium frame, which improves durability and scratch resistance while helping reduce weight. On the back, the camera design may shift to a more unified camera island rather than separate lens cutouts, giving the device a cleaner and more refined appearance. The display is shaping up to be one of the biggest highlights. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to feature Samsung's new M14 OLED panel, with peak brightness figures rumored to range from 3,000 nits to as high as 6,000 nits in certain scenarios. This would deliver excellent outdoor visibility and stunning HDR performance. Beyond brightness, Samsung is reportedly introducing a new feature called Flex Magic Pixel with One UI 8.5. This AI-driven display technology can dynamically adjust individual pixels to control viewing angles. In simple terms, it acts like a built-in smart privacy filter. When the phone detects people nearby, it can narrow the viewing angle so that only the user sees the content clearly without dimming the screen or reducing quality. Camera upgrades focus on meaningful improvements rather than headline-grabbing numbers. Samsung is expected to keep the 200-megapixel main sensor but enhance its real-world performance. The main camera is rumored to feature a wider f1.4 aperture, up from f1.7 previously, allowing more light to hit the sensor. This should significantly improve low-light photography and reduce shutter lag. The 3x telephoto camera is also expected to receive attention moving from a 10-megapixel sensor to a newer 12-megapixel sensor with better HDR performance and faster autofocus. Video recording is another priority, with leaks pointing to a new advanced video codec that delivers near-professional, level quality without creating massive file sizes. Charging is an area where Samsung is finally making a long-awaited leap. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to support 60W fast charging, breaking past the 45W limit that has remained unchanged for several generations. Samsung briefly revealed a 60W charger in its own listings, strongly suggesting this upgrade is real. To support faster charging and longer battery life, Samsung is expected to adopt silicon carbon battery technology. This allows higher capacity without increasing physical size. Battery capacity is rumored to fall between 5200 mAh and 5750 mAh. The phone is also expected to fully support Chu2 wireless charging, including built-in magnets for better accessory alignment. On the software side, One UI 8.5 based on Android 16 will push an AI-first experience. Bixby is set for a major overhaul with on-device AI capable of handling complex, cross-app tasks. AI-powered notification summaries will help users quickly catch up on important alerts, and satellite SOS support is expected to enable emergency messaging in remote areas. All of these upgrades come with a premium price. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is rumored to start around $1399. Samsung appears to be positioning it not just as a smartphone, 
but as a mobile AI workstation for users still holding onto the Galaxy S22 or S23 Ultra, the S26 Ultra looks like a true generational upgrade that finally addresses long-standing limitations while introducing powerful new technologies in a single, refined package.